The new technology being used by Perth homeowners to sell their properties. From fancy photography to flying drones, some agents believe old-fashioned home opens are a thing of the past. Belinda Wilkinson reports sellers say they're reaping the rewards. It's all about location, location, location. And the only way to show location is to get a drone up there. Home Opens was um, prob probably worked in 1970, 1980. They don't work in 2014. The reality is that if agents stopped doing Home Opens, it's the public that will be disadvantaged. When it comes to selling property, technology like this means opening up your home to strangers off the street could become a practice of the past. You need to get the attention of consumers to, to, to actually pay attention and actually show people what it looks like in perspective in relation to where the, you know, the great features are, such as the coast or the hills. Hi Tran from Copter Cam says since his drone flew into the property market three years ago, it's barely touched the ground. The old way of getting elevated photography for real estate was putting a camera on a 10 to 15 metre pole um, and they were charging around the $200 mark for, for real estate agents. Um, using a drone, it's about the same price. Back down to earth and inside the home. As far as the still photography goes, um, anywhere between 35 to 40 properties a day. Frank Spano from Aperture 22 says by the time he's done his job, any potential buyer should be picking up the phone to call the agent. Home opens are a waste of time for that homeowner. And because of these impressive marketing methods, real estate agent Jenny Bosma says her company shut the door on home opens three years ago. They believe serious buyers prefer private appointments. We tracked our sales for the year before and less than 5% of our sales came directly from that home open, showing it to the buyer. The other 95% came from one-on-one -on -one inspections of the property so that we can promote that property to the right buyer. And owners run the risk of letting anyone walk into their home. It wasn't worth much, but it was sentimental. For Clayton and Leslie, this warning was too little, too late. A thief posed as a potential buyer, pocketing more than $40,000 worth of jewellery and watches. They knew to move bags out of the way. They knew to look at the back of cupboards. Um, they knew immediately where to go. And because potential buyers are technically invited into the property, if anything is stolen or broken, most insurance companies won't pay up. And Jenny says many real estate agents don't always intend to actually sell the property at the home open. They use it as a tool to get the names and numbers of people walking through to then try and sell them some of their other properties during the week. If you were paying a real estate agent to sell you a home, you'd expect them to follow up on everybody that came through and everybody that called. David Airy from the Real Estate Institute of Western Australia says agents shouldn't limit their style of selling. Real estate agency practice is not an exact science. You need to be able to have home opens and all the things going for you to capture buyers to get them interested in the property. But he agrees property owners need to push their agent to get bang for their buck. That's why we work for the seller, to get paid a commission to sell the property and use every single opportunity that's possible. I wouldn't have an home open again, no. To sell her property in Byford, Susan Randall went through the gruelling home open routine nearly every weekend for four months. You were just getting two or three people come up and they were just being nosy I think really they didn't really they weren't really interested Susan decided enough was enough and called Jenny no home opens just amazing photos videos and two private appointments with genuine buyers the internet had done its job people knew what they were looking for a couple of weeks later Susan had two offers on the table it's 2014 homeowners expect a lot more from their agent Jenny suggests before you choose an agent, ask how they're going to market your property and make sure they use the latest technology for internet advertising, like drones and a quality photographer. Match the buyer to the property by asking the right questions. Has the buyer spoken to the bank? Is the size and location of the property suitable? And is the buyer ready to buy now? And push for private appointments only, so the buyer has plenty of time to view the property and they've got the full attention of the agent. People interested, come and see the house, not home open. 
But whether you decide to open your home or try new techniques to tempt buyers, all parties agree homeowners need to explore all avenues in a competitive market. Unless you can embrace what is out there now um, to present a home to the buyers, I think you're left behind. These days, sellers need every possible marketing tool working for them in the sale of their home.